Welcome back. It turns out those who feed their dogs raw pet food may actually be putting people at risk. This is according to a new study. So Dr. Roberta Westbrook, chief veterinarian at the Houston SPCA, is here live to explain. Good morning. This is a very interesting study here. Good morning. Yes, a very interesting study was just presented in Europe. And the purpose of the study was really to evaluate whether there were human health risks associated with feeding raw pet food. As we've seen over the last several years, there's been an uptick in the number of people and pet owners who are interested in feeding their pets raw food diets. But we have to be very careful because as we know um, raw foods, even in people, um, can be dangerous. Those dangers can also be a problem in our pets um, with respect to resistant bacteria that may be found in those um, diets, as well as we want those diets to be nutritionally sound. So those are some concerns about feeding raw food diets. Right, well, so can you explain what raw food is, raw dog food is, and why people might wanna feed that to their dogs, the benefits perhaps? Right, so what is a raw food diet? Typically, when we talk about raw food diets, we're talking about feeding our pets bones, muscle tissue, sometimes organs like liver, spleen. And the reason that you might see an uptick in this is because as we move toward a, a culture where we want to be healthier, people are wanting to feed less processed food. And less processed food for our pets means raw food. But we have to be very careful about that. Now, one of the benefits or some of the benefits that have been associated with raw food, at least subjectively, for people who feed those foods are an increase in energy levels. Maybe the look of the hair coat and the skin tends to be better. The stool tends to be smaller. And so subjectively, pet owners who feed those diets think that it's a good idea to feed their pets that. And there's certainly some pets who have had no problem with raw foods. The concern is really on a broader scale. How is feeding those raw foods going to affect the general public? As we see an increase in raw foods being fed, what the research is showing is that some of those raw foods are contaminated with bacteria that actually is inherently resistant to many antibiotics. So what we worry is that if you're feeding your pet raw food and that raw food, that meat is contaminated with a particular type of bacteria and that bacteria gets transmitted to a human being or even to other pets that we may see a widespread outbreak of infections with these bacteria. And the, and the worst part about these bacteria is that they can be resistant to the most common antibiotics, which means they're more difficult to treat, which means we may see an increase in illness and death related to those infections. All right. Well, it looks like we'll certainly need to be careful when dealing with that raw dog food. Thank you so much, Dr. Westbrook, for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you so much.